Hi everybody, Joe Oden over at All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio. Today I'm going to go ahead and do the second half of our plumbing seminar where I'm going to go over the waste retention system in your camper, uh, what it is, how it works, and how to keep it working properly. So basically for starters, your waste retention system um, consists of two different types of holding tanks, gray water and black water. Your black water holding tank is going to be specifically for toilets and your gray water tank is going to handle any sink or shower water that you produce while using your trailer. And typically they're teed up and come out of one discharge point in the camper. If you have a larger camper with multiple tanks or two bathrooms, you'll have multiple discharge points. But for the most part, both the gray and black have separate valves that come out of one discharge point right in the center of the camper. Now typically that discharge point is a 3 inch bayonet style uh, hookup so you can use any type of RV sewer hose to hook into it and dump into the dump station wherever you guys are camping. And then there's also what you'll find on there a uh, termination cap. And the main reason for these is so if you have a leaky valve and you're going down the highway or something you don't have any kind of dripping that can get you a pretty big fine if you get pulled over and you have uh, water dripping out of your sewage or gray water tank so there's two different types of termination caps your traditional one here that just twists on and then we also have another termination cap that has a hose outlet on the bottom now this is going to be for campgrounds that don't have a full hookup for sewage but do have a gray water sump which will allow you to dump out your sink and shower water which accumulates much much quicker than your toilet water that way you don't have to do dumps quite as often you don't have to move the trailer quite as often um, but it gives you that option to get rid of some of that gray water if your campsite is equipped for it now another thing you can do to make sure you're properly dumping the tank and first of all just to throw out there what you need to do to properly dump the tank um, after you are ready to get going Get on your way after the weekend what you want to do is make sure that that tank whether it's gray or black is at least two-thirds of the way full um, you can do that by running your sink keeping your foot down on the pedal on the toilet but before you empty that tank you want to make sure it's at least two-thirds of the way full so that when you pull that valve you get a big rush of water that sucks everything out with it and what a lot of folks like to use to make sure that everything's cleared out is a clear inline extension right here which will go right on the end of your RV and then you hook your sewer hose onto this so you can see everything that's coming out of the tank. So after you go ahead and pull that valve you want to make sure everything's coming through rushing out in one big go and then at that point in time you can add more water to the tank flush it out and you really want to make sure before you start getting out on your way you want to make sure that the water that's coming through here is clear and there's really very little to no solids in there so you want to make sure there's nothing held up in your tank now another useful item to have with you just in case one of your gate valves goes bad or you can't get it shut again or something like that is a twist on gate valve this is commonly referred to as the poor man's gate valve fix so instead of replacing one of the valves for either your gray or black tank by tearing apart your underbelly you can actually latch this on the a discharge point on your unit and it puts another gate valve in line so that if you have a leaky valve you can still keep it shut and not have to worry about that drippage I was talking about earlier all right now as far as maintenance for your wastewater system there are a number of products that you can utilize to make sure that everything is moving freely and flowing properly as you want it to be uh, first is going to be your black tank flush now many campers do have black tank flush is built into them nowadays basically what it is is a spot to hook up a garden hose and in the tank there's a rotating spray nozzle that when you hook water up to it it pressurizes and kind of knocks any solids or anything off the sides of the tank and then pushes it back out towards the discharge point uh, typically if your camper is equipped with one you want to do that every three or four times that you dump and let it run for about eight minutes like I said, make sure that the water that's coming out through here is nice and clear and there's very minimal solids in it. Now some 
older campers or more basic campers may not have a black tank flush installed on them, in which case you can actually purchase a number of different styles of toilet wands. So this will take a regular garden hose connection, you can stick it down your toilet, and as you can see here, this nozzle will spin around and do the same thing as a factory installed black tank flush. The main reason you want to do that is so you don't start to get toilet paper build up in the corners of the tank or on the sensors or things like that. Because over time, as that stuff dries and hardens, it really gets to the point where there's no way to get it out. And then if someday it does happen to break loose, you could uh, end up having a serious issue with clogging once it gets down to that discharge point down by the gate valves. Now, if you do ever run into a situation where you have excess toilet paper buildup or solid buildup, or your sensors aren't working or anything like that, they do offer a number of maintenance products that can kind of help avoid you having to take it and have the whole system torn apart. So first off, we have a level gauge cleaner. Uh, basically what this is going to do is dissolve any toilet paper or anything that's stuck onto those uh, gauges inside the tank so you can properly see how full the tank is so you're not just kind of guessing and maybe waiting until it's too late and you have, a, have yourself a mess. And then we also have tissue digester. So this is for situations where, you know, maybe you didn't put enough water in the tank, put too much toilet paper in the tank, or you weren't using RV safe toilet paper. So this can be put in the tank and added with water and sits for about 24 hours and really eats up all of that solid toilet paper and kind of will turn it into a pulpy material that can flow. And then we also have two different types of seal conditioners. So we have drain valve lubricant which is going to help prevent you from having to replace your gate valves. Over time, they'll get debris and whatnot stuck in them, and they'll get very hard to pull in and out. This stuff right here, basically pour about eight ounces in the tank, put about five gallons of water in, let it sit for a day or two, and then open your valves back and forth as you're dumping it. This will lubricate those seals and condition them so they don't dry rot, and so they don't have anything getting stuck to them. This product right here, toilet seal lubricant and conditioner, is meant for use in your toilet bowl. So a lot of times, uh, especially over the winter, your rubber seal in your toilet that keeps a little ball valve sealed will shrink or dry rot a little bit or dry out. Um, not only can this make it hard for, to flush the toilet, but it'll also make it to where the toilet doesn't necessarily hold water like it should, which can lead to odors inside the trailer. This stuff here, if you pour it in the bowl, add a couple ounces of water with it, let it sit for a while, that's going to penetrate that seal, not only lubricating it, but pumping it up a little bit and making sure that it's making nice contact on the ball valve for your toilet so that it holds water and works properly. And then lastly, for your gray water tank, once again, for your sinks and showers, we have gray water odor control. Um, this is made specifically for dissolving cooking grease, and anything else that might come off of your hands or while you're in the shower, that kind of thing. Um, not necessarily for digesting solids, but more or less digesting greases and oils so that you don't have um, any kind of buildup happening in your tanks and you don't have a very pungent odor coming out of the gray tank. Sometimes the gray tank can smell worse than the black tank, believe it or not. Now back on the subject of the black tank, um, for proper t odor control and tissue digestion, you regularly want to use a odor reducer and tissue digester. These come in a number of different brands, products, things like that, but you always want to make sure every time you utilize the tank, you're putting some form of tissue digester and odor control in that tank. Um, the product I have here is Pure Power Blue. This is a bacterial enzyme. So it works very similar to a septic tank like you'd have at your home. So when you initially start out before you go camping, what you'll want to do is pour about 8 ounces of this in for every 40 gallons you have in the tank. Then put about 3 gallons in the tank itself of water so it doesn't dry out before you start using it. And then as you start using it, this bacteria is going to thrive on anything you put in the tank. It's going to eat that toilet paper up, eat the solids up and basically liquefy everything so that when you pull that gate valve, everything comes out with it and you don't have to worry about having any kind of buildup throughout the trailer in the wastewater holding system. And this stuff is also a fantastic 
Um, odor control as well. It's been tested in up to 130 degree weather. Um, it's what I personally use in my campers and it's, it's what I found out of everything I've tried. It's what I found works the best. Now, at the end of the day, you are still going to have some odor in the tank. There's really nothing you can do about it and it seems like some campers for whatever reason no matter how well they're built how well they're put together you still get a stale sewage smell in the bathroom there is a solution to that and that's going to be this guy right here so this is a solar powered uh, tank vent fan so every holding tank has a vent stack that goes up to the roof just like the plumbing system in your home does this product right here will create a negative updraft from that tank so any of those none of those fumes can radiate up through your toilet or radiate up through the floor or anything like that so this is a very very good product to have if you have odor control issues in the trailer um, even if you're using your chemicals properly and everything like that some people it's just an issue you can't figure out why this is a great product to help combat that and then lastly, before I let you go, I'm going to talk about what type of toilet paper you want to use. So with RV holding tank systems, you want to make sure you're using RV safe toilet paper. Um, some people think septic tank safe toilet paper is okay. It's really not. The true test is to take a square of the toilet paper, set it in a glass of water, and if it dissolves into a pulpy, mushy material in about 30 seconds, then it's okay for use in that toilet. Um, but if it stays intact and you can pull the full square out, that's not gonna be good enough for RV use. Cause at that point, that's when you start getting the tissue buildup that I'm talking about, cause it's not able to break it down fully. And then you get buildup issues and potentially a clog. But any RV dealership will sell RV safe toilet paper. Like I said, it dissolves much quicker. You can get it in two ply or single ply. You just don't want to use things like your Cottonelle or Angel Soft 10 ply toilet paper. That's just going to cause you more problems than it would good, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call at 330-564-0222. And I hope you have a great night. Thanks. Bye.